we can put one loop inside another loop and it doesn't turn out to be as confusing as it looks at the beginning. Okay, that looks pretty confusing. Zoomy, what should we do? Be the machine. Okay, we'll just start at the top. The first two statements declare two variables whose names are first and second, so I have put them in our memory diagram. Then this statement gives first the value of zero. So the while loop will start by comparing first to three, and since first is less than three, we do the stuff in the while loop. This statement is an assignment statement. It will evaluate the right-hand side and store it at the left-hand side. First is zero times two is zero, and add that to 84 gives us a value of 84, and that will be stored in second. The second loop starts by comparing second mod two to zero. Now that percent sign is the modulus operator, which is the remainder after you do the division. So if we take what's in second, which is 84, and divide it by two, there's nothing left over because two goes into 84 evenly. So second mod two is zero. So this condition is true. So we go inside the while loop. In order to figure out what this print line is gonna print out, the trick is to match up the quotes. So you can see there is this pair of quotes and this pair of quotes. And Eclipse has actually helped us by coloring the things inside the quotes with um, a pretty color of blue. So the things that are in the quotes are gonna get printed out exactly as they are. And the things that are not in quotes, we're gonna go and get the value for them. So that means that the first line of output is going to look like this. This statement is gonna do integer division, dividing second by two. So 84 divided by two is 42, and it's gonna store that into second. So now we are at the end of the inner loop so it goes back up to the beginning of the inner loop. So the condition in the loop is going to be checked again. Second mod 2 is the remainder after we divide 42 by 2. Since 2 goes evenly into it, the remainder is 0 because there's nothing left. So the condition will be true, and we will go inside the loop again. This time, the print statement is going to get different values for first and second and the output will look like this. Then we'll take second and do integer division, dividing it by two, that'll give us 21. We'll store that back at second, and we're at the end of the inner loop again. This time, when the loop checks its condition, it's gonna take the 21 in second and divide it by two. The remainder of that is one, so the condition for this inner while loop is false, which will make that while loop stop running. The next statement that gets executed will increment the variable first and it will become one. Then we're at the bottom of the outer loop. So we go back up to the top of that outer loop. It checks to see if first is less than three. Since that is true, we go inside the loop again. This time, when it goes to calculate the value of second, It'll take first times two, that's two, and add it to 84 and get 86, and it'll store that in second. Then we start the inner loop again. It'll do second mod two, and since 86 is evenly divisible by two, that will give us a zero. So the condition will be true. When we go inside that loop, the print line will print out the output using the values in first and second. And then it will take the value of second, divide it by two and get 43 and store that into second. That gets us to the bottom of the inner loop. When we go back to the top, it checks the condition again. At this point, we should talk about the fact that mod two equals zero is essentially checking is second even because for even numbers, there will be no remainder when you divide by two. When there are odd numbers, there will be a remainder when you divide by two. So it checks to see, is second even? And it is not, because 43 is odd. So that ends the inner loop. 
first gets incremented, it's now two. The outer loop ends, so we go back up to its condition to check if first is less than three, which it is, so we go into the loop again. This time, first times two will be four, so 84 plus four is 88, and that is what will be stored in second. Then the inner loop starts, and second is even, so we go into the loop, and this is the output that we see. Then second becomes 44. We go back up to the top of that loop, and it is still even, so this is the output that we see. Then second becomes 22. We go back up to the top of the loop. It is still even, so this is the output that we see. Second becomes 11. Now second is odd, so the inner loop stops. Now first gets incremented and becomes three. When we go back up to the top of the outer loop, its condition is false and all of this code ends. So the thing to remember about nested loops is that the inside loop does its whole set of passes every time the outside loop does one pass.